glory to God. I'm here to give solution to this sickness, solution to the problem that the whole world is facing right now. The solution that we bring it to an end is what I'm here to give to the entire world. I want to tell the whole world that they, they have sinned against God. The whole world, the whole world have sinned against God. The whole world have said that, that there is no God. And the Bible said, the word of God said that only a fool, only a fool said in his heart, said in his heart, there is no God. The whole world has come full. The whole entire universe is fools. You ask men that said that, that there is no God. You are a fool. I did not say that. A big fool. A big fool said in his heart, there is no God. There is God. If there is no God, why are you people, all of you, great, small, white, black? Why is the whole world trembling, trembling and afraid for coronavirus? Man will keep on lying to himself. But God will always remain true to, his, to himself. God will always remain remain true to his nature. The heart of God is that the whole world come back to him. The whole world come back to him is the heart of God. The heart of God is that the whole world acknowledge him as the Lord of, of Lords and as the God of God of all the gods and as the king of all the kings on the face of the earth. The whole world must acknowledge God, that God is the creator of the ends of the earth. And that he desired that the whole world govern the universe, do everything in righteousness. In righteousness. In uprightness. The whole world have, for, have forsaken doing the right thing and gone back, gone to their own ways in doing the wrong thing. That's why we are seeing all manner of things, all manner of evil happening. The man that God created have deviated from the way of life and they are all heading to the way of death. So right now, I just want to give solution to the problem that is facing the whole world now. If they were here and do this, I think things will be Calm. The peace of God will flow again like a river. But I have to read it for you to understand this. I want to read it for all of you to understand what God wants, what God wants from us, especially we his children. If we if the people of God can do this, I think things will change. Right now I want to read in the book of Second Chronicle, chapter seven, verse fourteen. What the whole entire universe, the whole globe, the entire world should do to stop the coronavirus. Nothing can stop this coronavirus. Apart this, what I'm saying now, anywhere you are, once you hear this, just do according to what you hear. And you will see. Let's see what God will do. What God will do. The only solution to the problem that the whole world is facing now is what I want to give. Just listen. Second Chronicle chapter 7, verse 14. I want to read now. If my people, if my people who are called by my name, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Number one, number one thing God expected from his own children, if a child of God, what God expects from us now is for us to humble ourselves, bring ourselves down to God in prayer. 
I'm talking to every believer, every believer who have faith in Christ Jesus, who have belief, who have faith in God Almighty, and who have who have trust, who have if you know that you have faith in Jesus, you must do this. If my people who are called by my name, because your prayer is so powerful, the prayer of a righteous man or a righteous man are very much, God will hear when we pray together in unison and talk to God. God will do something. So if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, can we bring ourselves down to God? Humility is necessary when you want to receive anything from God. Bring yourself down. Stop that your self-righteousness. Self-righteousness, I go to church, I do this, I am I will, I will baptize, I will this and that. Forget those those things. Those are those are religious rituals. Keep it to one side. What we make it now to receive, bring us to receive from God is our to humble ourselves before God. Bring ourselves down. Pride goes before downfall. But humility goes before honor. He receives the power that gives grace more and more to the humble. So I want you to understand that God wants us to humble ourselves and pray. Pray for the whole world. And see God's face and turn from and turn from their wicked ways. The, the people that call themselves believers or the children of God, they, have, they are too wicked, even more than people the people of the world. Wickedness is overflowing, is overflowing in the if you step your feet in the garden of people that call themselves God's people or God's children, the wickedness you will see is great. It's time for us to pray. Turn your back from the wicked, all this wicked thing that are doing, this wickedness that are swimming into. Turn your back from all this thing. Wickedness, God hates wicked, wickedness. Turn your back. See? And Turn the, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. When we do this, God will hear our prayer from heaven. And when God hears from heaven, God will first of all forgive the sin, the sin of the people of the world, the sin of people that cause their believers are great. The sin is too much. The first thing God will do is to forgive the sin. And if once forgiveness go, once God forgive our sins, forgive the sins, of the world. Remember Jesus, the righteous, is the Lamb of God that came to the world and take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God that take away the sin of this world. If we can cry and pray to God, God will, will look upon this, the, 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 the blood, the shed blood of his son Jesus and forgive our sins, forgive the sin of the sins of the whole world. And once God forgive, the next thing that we follow, once, once sin is forgiven, the next thing that we follow is healing. God is able and ready to heal the entire world. The whole world is sick. It's not only one country. All over the world is sick. What brought what sickness is the sin of mankind, the, the wickedness of mankind that, that brought this, they, they brought the sickness, so the whole world is sick. This is not me saying, you can see it clearly that the whole world is sick. The sickness from the from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet, the whole, the whole body is sick. The, 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 the people going to church, the believers are sick. Unbelievers are sick. Protestants are sick. Kings are, are sick. Presidents are sick. are sick. Queens are sick. Rich men are sick, poor are, are sick, everybody is, everybody is sick. So the whole world needs healing. And this is the solution to this virus that is flowing in the whole world. If the whole world can hear this, turn from your wicked ways, bring yourself down, humble yourself before God. Let us pray and ask, ask Him for, 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 for mercy, for forgiveness. And once God, God forgives us our sins, once forgiveness, it, 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 once He forgives, he will heal. He will heal. Healing will take place. He will heal the whole land. He will heal the whole world. I pray in the name of Jesus that every pride that is holding you, you kings of the earth, you, 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 you the rich, you the poor, you the believer, you unbeliever, that pride in you that is denying you the existence of God, telling you that they are, telling you that there's no God. Let it get out of you now. Let this get out of you now. Let's go. Humble yourself. 
and cry to God. Let's cry to God. He said, Yes, God, He will hear our cry. He will forgive the sins of the whole world. And He will He will He will forgive and heal the whole world. Alright. So this is the solution. No medicine can do this. This is the highest the medicine that can cure coronavirus, that can cure all sicknesses and diseases and restore mankind back to the original plan of God. Okay, so try to let other people hear this and join as join us in, in prayer as you hear this. May God bless you as you do that. Spread this message to the whole world. If everybody, everybody to hear it and know what God is saying. The solution to the problem that man is facing now. Bye, bye.